Okay, um, this is a interview I was looking forward to. It is, it's why I do what I do. Like truth be told, I didn't get into this business to enter, um, to interview or speak to, have conversations with people with fame and celebrity, um, to gossip. I, I, I truly do what I do because I really enjoy having conversations with the most interesting and fascinating people in the world. And, and, and I like to learn. And th this is this is one of them conversations where I, I, I'm, I'm curious. I, I, I think by the time we're done talking, I'm going to learn a lot of things that I didn't know, but I know I always wanted to know. So we got my man, um, we got a good brother here, Mikhail Coles. Welcome to the show, Mikkel. And to his right and to his left are his two wives, Miss Jasmine and Alicia. What's up, y'all? How y'all doing? How you doing? How you? Thanks for having us. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, th thanks for giving me the time. Uh, I think this is going to be a great conversation. It's going to be very informative. And I think a lot of people are going to enjoy it. So let's get busy with it. Um, Mikkel, just to you... In particular, what what was your upbringing? Did you come up in a two family household? No, I, I came up um, actually a single family household. Um, my grandmother raised me. I, I went from being with my mom to being with my dad, then being with my aunt, then being with my grandmother, <laughs> and that's kind of who brought me the rest of the way. Got you, um, brothers and sisters. Yeah, I got three brothers. Okay, three brothers, three males in the house. Yeah. It, 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 this lifestyle that you have, you, you are literally sitting with your two wives. Um, yeah. for, for my own clarity, and again, like I said, I'm going to learn today. Is this polygamy or is it polyamory? It's polygyny. 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 Okay. Uh -oh. So polygyny, the, the difference is um, with polygamy is general, multiple spouses, multiple relationships. Um, polygyny is a man with multiple wives. Okay, polygamy is a man Indeed. with multiple wives. Polygyny. Understood. Okay, is this something that you always aspired to? Where, where did you learn about this? Not at all. Um, I actually came up Christian. Um, that's what I was brought up in the Christian church with my grandmother and everything. Um, my wife, Alicia here, um, introduced me to her church early on in our relationship. And for about 10 years or so, I wasn't interested in learning, you know, about Israelites or Hebrews or anything like that, Jews. Um, and then one day I just was speaking with a brother of the church and he started going over scriptures with me and enlightening me and showing me. And I was like, wow, I was seeing stuff for myself, you know, and learning for myself. And I, I joined the church, but actually coming to having two wives, Alicia introduced me to it. She wanted an additional wife in the relationship. Okay. So Alicia, were, were you born and raised into, into, the church and if you you didn't specify what church is 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 it the black Israelites that we see? Um, the Israelite Church of God in Jesus Christ. Okay. So there's a lot of different groups out there, so we don't want to be confused with some of the hate groups, you know. Uh, but we're with the Israelite Church of God in Jesus Christ. Okay, Alicia, for you, uh, were you raised into this church? Um, no, I wasn't raised per se. Um, I was brought into it when I was about, I want to say 18. My brother introduced me to it. Okay, and you know, I'm assuming that having multiple partners, uh, is, is that the norm? Is it is it is it something that from a from a spiritual uh, uh yeah, from a spiritual aspect is allowed? Yes. Um it doesn't mean that everybody has to do it. You know what I mean? So you, you can be in the church and have one wife and one husband, of course, you know, but it's allowed. Of right. course, there's a procedure like you have to court first, learn each other first and get granted permission by the heads of the church before entering into it. Got you. Before we go for, where do you guys live? We live in Virginia. Okay. In the area. 
Is this common in Virginia? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> We're special breed in these parts. <laughs> yes. Okay, so walk me through the beginning. You do 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 you like any other man? Do you just uh see Alicia and, and you're like, that's a that's a woman I want to talk to. She she looked good, she my type. I, 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 this is somebody I'm interested in getting to know, or, or did you kind of have an understanding of what you were getting into before you even started dating her? Well, when I got with Alicia, I wasn't in the church, so it was normal. I, I, I understand that. I understand that totally. I'm just saying, did did you have an understanding of what she was used to, or, or, or? No, no, really, not okay, at all. not at all. Um, it was just normal me, you know what I mean? Hanging out, getting to know each other and, and being compatible and deciding, hey, you know, you're pretty cool. I, I would love to be in a relationship with you. And we kind of never really sat down and said, okay, this is what we're going to do, be in a relationship. Right. It kind of just grew into it. I met him through his cousin. I was friends with his cousin first. <laughs> we grew up together, me and his cousin, um, Janelle. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.